This week in Louisiana agriculture. What could bring 60% of America's grain exports to a halt? Let's just say it's going to take an act of Congress to fix it. I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. While some Louisiana crops are drowning from too much water, others across the state are dying from thirst. I'm Kristen Oaks and I'll have that story coming up. I'm AJ Sabine. I'll introduce you to the first of three finalists for the Louisiana Farm Bureau's Young Farm and Rancher Achievement Award. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. Ships traveling up and down the Mississippi River can now only have a draft depth of 43 feet. That's two feet less than the usual depth of 45 feet. That's according to the president of the Associated Branch Pilots, Captain Michael Lorino. Lorino says the problem is that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is not effectively dredging the mouth of the river where it meets the Gulf of Mexico. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, once the water level drops below flood stage in the Mississippi, silt deposits in the river could become a national problem. Ships like this one will have to ride a little higher up and down the Mississippi River. That's because silt buildup here at Southwest Pass has cut the normal draft depth of these ships by two feet. Over 60% of the grain exported out of the United States comes out of here. Gary Lagrange is the president and CEO of the Port of New Orleans. He says every foot of draft depth lost equals a million dollars less cargo per ship. He says it usually costs about $104 million a year to maintain the depth of the Mississippi River, but the flood of 2011 means it's going to cost more. This year that number is going to be much higher than that due to the escalated amount of silt that's come down with the high river levels. This is America's commercial superhighway. Louisiana Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry Dr. Mike Strain says the lower draft depths make for a vicious circle. That's because shipping companies pay fees into the Harbor Management Trust Fund based upon tonnage. And it's that fund which the Army Corps of Engineers is supposed to use for dredging and it's the fund Congress has tapped to pay for other projects. These are dedicated funds, fees paid by these ships that go into the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund that has been taken and used somewhere else rather than for the purposes intended. And here we are now without enough money to dredge the rivers, to bring in the ships to collect the fees to continue to dredge the rivers and the harbors. Lagrange told congressmen at this meeting in New Orleans that if the draft depth drops enough to close the river, economies along the Mississippi would lose $247 million a day for the first four days, and the cost would only rise after that. Strain says that could happen. Now they're talking about as we move into summertime, we could have a restriction of draft to 35 feet. When that happens, you will virtually close this port. And that would bring agricultural exports from the Midwest and Louisiana to a halt. In New Orleans, I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Congressman Charles Bustani of Lafayette has a bill before Congress right now that would mandate the use of money in the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund to pay for dredging in Southwest Pass.